Because if, if, if not, that is just insane. Wow. Wow. I am just kind of amazed. This is the main story now. That is incredible. I'm still going to play it safe because it seems like a chance. Of, of it activating, so there's no guarantee that it will activate. I also want to check something. So that's a Boston Brawler thing. You can actually probably do that right now, but I didn't want to do the story. I just want to can be here. I will actually probably knock out all of these uh, challenges after this sequence. Okay, it is uh, Frontiersman that has a Washington conversation. Okay. Let's go. It's just uh, amazing to me. It's just I, I'm still kind of blown away by that. Freaking wow! <laughs> that is just amazing. Like I had to give me a piece of Eden. Wow. I'm just kind of like speechless. I, just... I never knew you could get that. I knew that you get an outfit, but I never knew you actually get like a piece of Eden. Or if I did, I forgot. Let me call my horse. Ooh, a white horse, nice. I keep on thinking it's beat amount. Okay, let's see if we can uh get some more uh oh they're both done. Great. Next up, you. It looks like we're going to be completing New York and uh, Massachusetts, I believe, with these uh, this round. Ooh, Dobby is almost ranked level eleven. Nice. Got a thousand gold from that, or. Uh, I think that this uh, game uses euros, not gold. Not as rich as Skyrim. Okay. Uh, it's just so tempting for me to say gold. There's so many games use uh, gold as currency. Although, uh, if you, uh, Assassin's Creed game uses euros and memory serves. Okay, here we go. This, uh, by the way... Sequence of what, what am I on? Sequence seven and eight. I had some of my least favorite missions, but I I was doing some scouting ahead uh to see if there's any missions uh coming up that I'm uh worried up that I could have problems with. 
I think it might be worth selling from here. I can't think of too many other missions that in the future that could give me some serious problems or at least have given me issues in the past. But my memory on the later stages of this game is not that great. Horses are not made for a uh, cross country. Fuck's sake. Hold on. I was receiving a phone call. Okay, let's keep on going. Okay. Uh, this, we're actually... It's a, I think it's this sequence is actually one, maybe one of my favorite sequences in the game. It's either this sequence or next sequence, I can't remember. Incognito here, that's interesting. Oh, this is Valley Forge. Wow. Hold on, I think, I think I accidentally turned down my volume on my headset. Alright, I just can't adjust my volume. Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. So I was told that you can continue talking to George Washington and you can get all the conversations done here. Commander, I have failed him, Connor. Only look around to know my words are true. This revolution once seemed a righteous thing. Our cause, pure and just. We asked only for what all people deserve. Liberty, equality, and respect. The Empire should have embraced us. Instead, they pushed for war. A war it seems they are now destined to win. I dared to dream of better things. Behold what it has brought. Such dark thoughts will cripple a man. But only if he lets them. Look again. Out there stand men and women determined to be free. Such a struggle is rarely easy and never without sacrifice. I've often asked myself a thousand times if I would not be happier back amongst my people, living a quieter, simpler life. But if I abandon my cause, if you abandon yours, Commander, who would take our places? 
And what would become of the people who rely upon us? It isn't right that they should suffer when I do not. If the ground must be their mattress, so too will it be mine. And what about the storm? If I can't take a stand against the snow, then there really is no hope for us. Pretty kind of interesting. I never actually talked to George Washington. What news do you bring me? No news, Commander. I was merely curious how your assistants were faring. Without them, we would be lost. It's as simple as that. With Lafayette drilling our men, Lafayette. our next engagement will not be one-sided. Have you had the opportunity to meet Casimir Pulaski? I have not. Unfortunate. He's another of these soldiers we've hired from overseas. A Polish man capable of fighting on horseback, the likes of which I have never seen. I intend to name him commander of the horse. And when spring comes and the battles resume, the regulars will fear the charge of his patriot cavalry. I look forward to that day, Commander. As do I, Connor. As do I. That's interesting, the fact that Lafayette was actually referenced. I had, I don't think we actually meet Lafayette in this game, but Lafayette was actually kind of an integral uh, figure in the revolution. What is that? I am not even going to try to pronounce that. I will probably offend so many people. I can't pronounce Thaddeus, but I'm not going to try to pr pronounce his last name. I have no idea who he is. Like a Russian name? It, it looks like a Russian name. I will be showing uh, similar to how I handle the uh, similar to how I handled the it was called uh, the database in the Assassin's Creed uh, Revelation stream, and I think I did. No, I didn't, but uh, because I wasn't didn't upload that onto YouTube. But uh, similar to how I handled the Assassin's Creed Revelation stream, really? Don't know. I uh, am gonna be showing the database in its entirety at the very last thing I do on this game. But uh, I'm not gonna do that just yet. Just basically gonna say that for the very last thing I do. I don't know where Washington went. Lafayette. I only know that name honestly because of the uh, because he was like an important character in the Broadway musical uh, Alexander Hamilton of all things. I don't know where, uh, I think Washington has some more stuff to say, but I have no idea where he went. I want to try and get the, uh, I want to try and get the Frontiers Challenge done. I have no idea where he went. Assuming he will show up blue. But if you haven't already, I would, go, I would strongly advise uh, watching Alexander Hamilton. It's honestly a really good musical. I absolutely love that uh, uh, thing, uh, that uh, play. It has a lot of uh, songs that are very memorable to me. Kind of fine. 
Where's Washington? But I don't know where he is. A lot of blending locations that just seem to be kind of random because I don't think you'll ever be in conflict here. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently he has some more sets to save. I have no idea where he went. I don't know how I lost him. I mean, I don't recognize it because it has a uh, unique design. It kind of separates itself from the revolutionary. So I'm gonna try and knock out this stupid challenge, but freaking Washington just vanished. No idea where he went. I can come back here, I believe. In fact, I may just do that after this mission. It's just, I don't know where he went. I'll come back here later because I want to try and get some progress here. George Washington just uh, pulled the Harry Houdini. Oh, oh no, that's uh, something else. George Washington pulled a Harry Houdini on me. Is that Sasson? Ah, Connor. What do you think? I see Mil Lafayette here. The men are bolstered, focused. It is good you have come. Uh, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. So we rode for Spain and bought passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option, mon dieu. No man can doubt your commitment, and you are invaluable to the cause. You did what you needed to do. I am certain I would have done the same. <laughs> but of course you would. I expect nothing less. I literally had no idea that Lafayette was even in this game. That's incredible. Learn something new every day. Yeah, I don't see any more interactive uh, uh, conversations. So I think I was, I've done all I can here. That is incredible. Like... I played this game, oh, I've done a one complete playthrough where I just beat the main story. And I've done half a playthrough on this version. And I never even knew he was here. And I also watched like a couple of less plays of this game. That's amazing to me. I never even knew if I was a character you could actually talk to here. That's kind of cool. I'll come, okay. I'll come back once I uh, finish this mission, see if there's anything new I can uh, interact with. But that is interesting. Learn something new every day. Also, we are going to see one of my favorite cutscenes in this game. Well, it's, it's a contender. It's at least in the top ten. There's so many good cutscenes in this game, but it's... It's a contender for the top 10. Like, I honestly love, uh, like, uh, cutscenes are very memorable to me that we have seen is the, uh, cutscenes are very memorable to me that we have seen is, uh, the, uh, Connor's interaction with Putnam, like his second interaction, where he says that's the second time 
that you produce the impossible, like a madman or something like that. And then Connor has said something along the lines of, I expect an apology when I return. And then another scene that I really liked is the end where uh, Putnam kind of saves Connor from being executed, where he says, this man is a war hero. So many good scenes in this game, and it's just, this is another good one. Last words? Wait. A poor choice. Come to check up on Church? Make sure he's stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. Johnson sought to own the land that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up early enough to start a goddamn war. <laughs> Hickey? Lord Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Baron Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. And what do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. I love Haytham Kenway. He's just so suave. Oh, we got some more assassins. Hey, just two more left. I'm really kind of curious to see what happens when you do everything. Jamie Colley is almost level 11. Same with Jacob Zinger. Virginia. Hey, Dobby's finished. Medical supplies and clothing as well. I really I, I, one of the reasons why I love uh, Assassin's Creed Three so much and why I will swear up and down that this game is easily in my top three favorite games is simply for the fact that uh, Hatham Kenway and Charles Lee are just both fantastic uh, villains, in my opinion. They are. Just freaking killed it in their performances. And it's Snow honestly the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Honestly, the fact that Hatham is just so suave and he's like a gentleman of source, and he's just you were kind of like led to believe that he was a main character before the plot twist in sequence three, I believe. Just amazing to me. Just when I look, going to freeze to death if I don't. Really a good villain. Are you Ben Church's man? <laughs> well played. <laughs> the way he said that, are you Ben Church's man? It was not wise to run. But 
you want. Where is Benjamin Church? At the zoo. We was riding for a scrap to north of here. It's where we normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's men. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? Never you mind. Just do as I ask. <laughs> Uh, I honestly love, uh, freaking Heatham Can Wait More, uh, in this scene, uh, it, like, now that we, we're interacting with him, uh, for the second time, I love him more, uh, now than I did, uh, in the past, because he's just, he's just so sassy. Well, I guess I, just, I kind of worded that poorly. I always kind of loved uh, Ethan Kenway. But it's just... Uh, what I meant to say was... I have a deeper respect uh, for him once I saw that scene for the first time. Than I did in the past. There's a place you're supposed to go to, I just didn't see it. Trying to be quiet here. Uh, 
Okay. Is there any other stop? Is there any other things? No, I got it. It should go to the normal patrol. All right, I'm in. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Nah, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. Then you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are you? Connor. <laughs> Once you've dealt with these louts, meet me in New York. What? You mean to just leave now? If you can't handle a couple of mercenaries. Then we've really no business working together. Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, no harm doing multitask. I may just finish this in this stream. There we go. Woo! 100%? 100%.